Shout it loud, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. If you know that tonight is your night, shout it loud, there's hallelujah. Hallelujah, If you know that every Goliath has signed against you, Shall be disgraced tonight. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Let's raise up our two hands as we sing this song loud and clear. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above
Father, we thank you for another mana water service. We thank you for the wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for what you have been doing through this mana water service. We thank you for the awesome testimonies. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, let there be no one here who will go home with a plastic experience. Lay your hands upon your people by fire, by power. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Tonight's topic. It's a topic worthy of every acidic power in prayer you can put together. A topic worthy of vigorous and aggressive prayer. And you need to listen to me very carefully. As I try my best to explain a very deep topic. The dark remote controlling powers. The dark remote controlling powers. Don't shack also lato kiri. Many of you are in Lagos now. Okolo koni nu ilo wale kuba yi. You live here. Engbele ko. But don't be surprised. Tuma ko ma che ya yile no. That there could be somebody living thousands of miles away. We are ne kan wa to ngbe lo ko lo ko ma ili jina sibi. Who directs your affairs the way a remote control device directs the television set. It looks very strange. But the tragedy is that it is true. There are satanic satellite monitoring stations. Monitoring the lives of people. There is a device in the coven called the crystal ball. The dark mirror through which they can manipulate and control lives. There is something called the mystery of the open eyes. That is when God opens your eyes in the spirit realm. You see certain things that others don't see. So being controlled from afar by forces that people don't understand is a common infirmity spiritually. And in case you don't know, there are human beings who have swallowed altars. Altars are normally supposed to be outside. But these people have swallowed their own altars. There is an oracle in his mouth. They put things in the mouth. Address someone. And the person listens without question. It is good to listen very carefully tonight. As we unravel this. In the book of Judges. Judges chapter 16. 
I read verse 23 and 24. Judges chapter 16. I read Judges chapter 16. Verse 23 to 24. I read Judges chapter 16. Verse 23 to 24. There are prayers we need to pray here tonight. The kind of prayer that falls under the category of destiny changing. And you will do well to pray from your heart. Judges chapter 16. Verse 23. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together. For to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon. Their God. And to rejoice. For they said. Our God. Our believer Samson. Our enemy. Into our hands. And when the people saw him. They prayed praised their God for they said our God are delivered unto our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country we slew many of us a very senior pastor shared this Weird testimony. His wife was not at home. The wife had traveled abroad. But in the house, the young cousin of the wife was living with them there. And she's been living there for over two years. Now the wife of the pastor had traveled. Very senior minister indeed. Suddenly, one night, his body was on fire. And strange impulses were, were coming into his body. Pushing him downstairs. Pushing him to the boys' quarters where this cousin was staying. The impulses were very strong. The thing seemed to be pushing him there. In the middle of the night, he struggled. At a stage, he held the door. At a stage, he locked himself inside and threw the key under the bed because the impulse and the sexual urge was so high it lasted that night without any trouble the second day during prayer meeting this Lady, the young cousin began to confess that she belonged to a serious occult group and that she was the one that had been remotely controlling him into a room that night and that as he was struggling there he was seeing him and that she was already ready for him undressed waiting for the man to come but thank God she waited in vain the rest will have been history if that man had not resisted it what is this telling us there are many dimensions to spiritual warfare many many dimensions I remember this day that professor of chemistry very brilliant Professor of chemistry. Professor Yomo, we go for ninu eto chemistry. Highly respected. Once he born, again, he had 
a house help. Oh no, only a model. A lady house. A more beni, a model. Complete illiterate. In your kawilara, living in the boys' quarter. Tung beni and kule one. One night too. His body was on fire. And something said, Go out. Go out. Go to that lady. Go to that lady. Go to that lady. He struggled. He didn't know Jesus. He struggled. And he came out of the main building. Went to the boys' quarter. Entered the room of this girl. This girl was already sleeping naked on the floor. Professor undressed. Professor Babora and started sleeping with her. The same spirit went to Professor's wife in the block of flats. Say, where is your husband? I want to woke up and look for him. This is him. Now he noticed that the door at the back had been opened. She followed through the door. The same spirit guided her. Guided her into the room to see her husband very busy with the answer actually sweating there and the poor wife shouted professor what kind of nonsense is this the same spirit asked that madam to shout and the neighbors came. And that was the end of a brilliant career. Be a chef professor. Dismissed and thrown out of the campus. I'm praying for you. And for everyone gathered here. Any power hiding in the coven. To remotely control any aspect of your life. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Masika ponde ya boshendera. That's one. I want you to understand me very well. That's why I'm telling you life examples. There is another story along the same line. This pastor was praying for this girl to be delivered from Lucifer. And the girl had confessed to him that he was in a, in a high hierarchy position in the Luciferian regime. Before the mother brought her for deliverance. After some time, this man of God was now going about with this lady he was trying to deliver. Although he was married, he began to go about with that one. And he was captured. You could look at that man of God. And see, well, he's spiritually short sighted. You could be right. You could be saying, it's not righteous. You could be right. You could say he's very careless. Or he's not sanctified. Or he doesn't have adequate theological training. You could be right. It is true that the pastor fell. But what you should also know that it was a victim of a satanic emotional remote control. It was, it was a battle you could only win by divine power. Instead of fanciful doctrines, 
motivational talks. This is where Samson, the strong man, missed it completely. And this is where you need to listen very carefully. According to the confession of the Philistine masses, and their rulers the true root of Samson's tragedy did not lay absolutely on just Delilah the wife that he married wrongly it laid in the mystical forces mystical manipulations that they were conjuring against him in the house of Dagon every day they were in the house of Dagon conjuring 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 against Samson the time that Samson went to his parents and said I want to marry a daughter of the Philistines and they said is there no woman in Israel is that the camp of the enemy you want to marry Samson the Nazarene opened his mouth, wide mouth and said marry her for me for she please set me well Samson in Nasiri, oh, yeah, and Reguru, Ozi, who pay a fair for me, Nitori, oh, me, Jojo. He didn't say marry her for me because God said that's my wife. For we pay a fair for me, Nitori, a lot of where I am in it. Said marry her for me for she please set me well. Only a fair for me, Nitori, oh, me, Jojo. The time he was talking about it, please set me well. Samson did not know that his name was by Dagon Temple every day they were conjuring against him. And he was misbehaving. He was misbehaving. He didn't know. A lot of people blame Delilah. Yes, Delilah was an instrument. But much more than that. Samson blindly assumed Samson, be a for you, Lord, okay. that is just power, power, power of might, Agbara, ti, pani, kan. beauty, ati, e, wa. but the enemies knew better. Ti, go, ta, mo, ju, lo. So they proclaimed it in their songs when, wa, fi, kori. when they got him. Ba, ton, ri, mu. They gathered themselves together to offer sacrifice unto Dagon their God. And our God Dagon had delivered our enemies from okay. They are God was an idol called Dagon. Half man, half fish. A a marine principality so it was from that temple that strange affections towards Delilah was put inside Samson He's, you may say oh the lady is very beautiful oh, you may say that the voice is very nice but below that there was an undercurrent of remote control forces that made him not to listen to what the parents were saying that made him to continue going when the road was bad although they removed the eyes of Samson eventually but the truth Samson's eyes have been blinded long before the enemy took him. The spiritual eyes were already blind. So eventually the physical ones too was, was removed. It was the blindness of the spirit that led to the blindness of the physical. Then for the first time we read in our Bible that Samson began to pray. The prayer he ought to pray before he got to bondage, he now started to pray it in bondage. This is a very, very serious matter. The remote controlling forces. When Goliath saw David, 
The first thing he did, if you are very careful reader of the scripture, the Bible says he cursed David by his God. That's the first thing he did. He cursed him. He went back to collect the, the anointing from the temple of his idol. To curse David. David. Thank God. David was spiritually alert. David left nothing to chance. David promptly fired back his own spiritual missile. Say you come unto me with stored with all kinds of things in the name of your God. That's why you came here. David ni iwo to mi wa pelu oko pelu ida ati loruko awon Olorun ti re I come unto you in the name of the Lord of hosts sugbon emi to wa ni oruko oluwa Olorun awon mo ogun whom you have defied and it is what it gone by that singular statement nipa gbolohun yen David fire back the missa David ta o fa pada si the remote controlling forces that will have emanated from the temple against David was punctured immediately. I am praying once again that every remote controlling power that is assigned to torment the destiny of anyone here shall be buried alive tonight in the name of Jesus. He shall be buried alive. He shall be buried alive. He shall be buried alive. Be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. And I command that every chain of dark remote controlling power upon any life here tonight be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. 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 Let your heaven roll like thunder. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus. Why? Should somebody want to remotely control another person? Why do human beings want to control other human beings? Number one is to win captives to Satan. To win captives to Satan. To Satan. I'm praying for anyone here that the enemy want to win you to Satan. That that effort to be frustrated in the name of Jesus. The second reason why the enemy wants to control people is to use those people to gain promotion in the evil world. I'm praying. Any power that wants to use you to promote himself or herself in the spirit realm shall be buried alive today in the name of Jesus. Reason is to exercise evil dominion over people. Evil dominion over people. A banker with a master's degree. He got home from work one day. Was a bachelor. But he got home from work one day. And he met his mother at the door. From the village. And the mother started to cry. Say, you. You have car. You have house. You don't have a wife. If I'm your true mother. You must, you must marry today. Say, ah, I'm married today. 
Do you will you not find a wife first before you marry the wife? You must marry today. Said mommy is not possible. Yeah, I'm your mother is possible. He shouted. Okay. Bimbo. Yani Bimbo. Come here. My bumbi. Girl appeared. Toss. Tossi. Come here. Mabo. And that girl appeared. So I brought you two wives from the village. So, and I'm going tomorrow morning. I will leave them here with you. So, I've already paid the dowry, so don't worry. So, you are here. The brother said, When the two guests appeared, the first one look like mosquito. Second one look like a crocodile. So one hatred well within him. So all of a sudden, the hatred disappeared. And became love. And he opened the door. And brought the two of them in. And Mama said, Good boy. They ate that night. One girl slept here. He slept in the middle. And the other girl slept by the other And that was how he was living his life. Until the gospel got to him. For the first time, he realized he was in bondage. He woke up in the night. He said, What kind of nonsense is this? All of you pack your things. Go back to the village. Go back. I don't want you. What kind of wives are you? How did I enter here? He was remotely. Control. One daddy there. That's your kid. Remotely control. One daddy there. Go away, go away, go away. Mama, mama, lo. The reason in our ran to mountain of fire. It did not feel our sour story. Okay, no. Because the two ladies. They pay a woman be the major. Now said, sir. Money. Alaba. We are not going anywhere. I'll leave you. Come on, lo. And you dare not repeat that statement. That we should go. He was shocked. Oh, yeah, these were people who were kneeling down. I can't sir. I can't sir. I can't sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. The, the boldness scared him. Sir, uh, are you talking to me like that? He said, I should not repeat it. Get, take your load and get out. And they told him, You are finished. He left for work that day. When he got to work, he met a letter on his desk. He had been sacked. He met a second letter. Ask him to hand over the car. And the house. And the house. He came back home. He still met them. And I said, Ah. Ah. I didn't know. That you are powerful people. Your job is gone. He said the book. Car is gone. Want to book why you the house here is gone. He lay back by want to buy. And they say we can reverse it. And I want to you pada. If you change your statement, go by ye or rather pada. Okay, you can stay. When you go to L Duro. You can stay. A duro. Do you know that by the next morning? Yeah, my quick lad or your cage. He got his job back. Got the car back. Got the house back. His bondage increased. That's what drove him here. How it can be saved. I'm praying once again. If your name is on any altar, 
and they are using it to manipulate your destiny receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder let your amen roar like thunder the fourth reason that they want to control people is to enslave and amputate their destiny to enslave and put it such destinies the fifth reason is to restrain them from doing good the sixth reason is to control the person for evil purposes and the seventh is to fulfill an evil desire on that person to fulfill an evil desire on that person when we were younger I don't know about now they used to some people used to sell medicine in the marketplaces and, and to attract people to where they are selling they bring monkeys monkeys to the market and the monkeys will be jumping about and be somersaulting and people are interested they want to see oh, monkey 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 monkeys will be jumping 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 but they have a chain on the waist of that monkey if the monkey wants to attack a person it's going to a place I don't want the monkey to go to draw the chain and restrain the monkey that chain represents what I'm trying to discover as a remote controlling power now. when the person is about to enter into a place of promise a place of blessings when the person is about to step into his promised land they pull back the chain the person does not enter the person is taking an examination that will change his life forever if he passes he will change his life forever they draw the chain he may, the chain it's not the chain you can see the chain may be Mr. Malaria Mr. Malaria they just introduce the malaria like that and so the person cannot take this exam it's a chain you, you call it malaria but it's a chain they draw you away from that draw you away from it this is a very serious matter very serious matter I was at the airport one day I saw one lady crying crying she wanted to go and study abroad she got to the airport and she could not find the passport again they checked the bag oh yeah check the no passport no visa to travel do you know that in trying to get another passport trying to get another visa she eventually did not go what happened they drew the chain you are not going you can go the woman is headed towards a husband of destiny. But they don't want her to go there. They apply the chain. All of you saw them. You just develop one hatred. 
and that goes. I pray one more time. Every chain of dark remote controlling power. Break in the name of Jesus. Exercise is evil control. Number one, they can use materials that was removed from your body and process in satanic laboratory. And they're controlling the person. They may use magic. Hamlets. Tira. All kinds of sorcery. Just to control the person. They could use spells. Bewitchment. Curses. Placenta. Olubi. Menstruation. To control the person. Photographs. I will not to control the person. That is They could push a person to sleep with the wrong person. They take his semen to the altar. And his life is now totally under evil control. And once this is happening and you don't break yourself free the person becomes like a toy in the hands of this power I'm praying for all parents who are here any power that is remotely controlling your children for evil before we close this service those powers must die in the name of Jesus because Tonight, you need to become a friend of God by surrendering your life to Jesus. Two, you need to know that there's a problem. That's a problem. Three, you need to break this chain so that their chain of control is broken. Broken completely. I remember that sister. The grandmother told her. Say, I am in charge of your life. I'm inside of you, you are inside of me. So you can't do what you want. It's what I want you to do. The lady said, no, it's a lie. How can I be inside of you? When you are, when you are grandma, say, ask your mother, when you were born, I took your placenta from her and I cooked it with okra soup. And I ate it. So you are inside. I'm inside you. Inside. I'm praying for anyone here that is being remotely controlled. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rise to your feet, my beloved. Rise to your feet. Tonight's prayer is not ordinary prayers. It's serious prayer. And I don't want you to negotiate. It's not a night to negotiate with the enemy. 
the remote controlling powers that have destroyed so many people they were installed miles and miles away from where they live they are under close observation but they don't know they have been observed you remember the story of that man that I was sharing with you the man may be in this service now he went to his village for leave and the mother called him into the room brought out a dark mirror Touch it, touch it, touch it. And right inside the mirror. He saw his bedroom in Leki. Is that not a bedroom? Say yes, mommy. She touched it again. He went to the bedroom where his wife and the children were sleeping. Is that not your wife? And those are not your children. So, so, have you seen that? You can't escape. But I have, I have, I'm very busy with an assignment now. I'm still coming back to deal with all of you. So this man who didn't believe in mountain of fire prayer. He, he does vigil every day now. He's a very serious man. So anything can happen anywhere. This kind of prayer. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Raise up your right hand where you are. To enter into the blessings of tonight, you need to make God your friend. Say this after me. Say, Father, Baba. I come before you, Lord Jesus. Yes, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right there where you are, our workers will locate you and give you materials and give you assistance. All eyes closed. We are not here to joke. We are not here to play. We are here for serious business. Serious business. And so, pray conclusively. Conclusively. As you pray this first prayer, if you are in this meeting tonight, and there is a pattern of very, very late marriage in your family, quietly find a way to this altar and pray with violence. We are not here for joking. We're for serious business. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every invisible chain. This is not a night to negotiate. It's a night for serious prayers. Aha, aha. 
Something is going on here. Many people are breaking through. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every chain of enchantment. Break. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray. Say evil remote controlling powers of my father's house. In the name of Jesus.
us, then we pray. Every chain of familiar spirits. Every chain of witchcraft. Your time is up. Pray in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power. Receive the touch of the power. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus, then we pray. Silence now. Silence now. You that woman over there, hear the word of the Lord. These powers in the spirit realm that are claiming to be your husband, you could be instantly broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Father, the people that are here, and any time they pray seriously about their situation, they always see close relatives in their dreams. At the count of seven from here, let the remote controlling powers be broken to pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right there where you are. I want only anger to well up within you. Well up really within you. Many have suffered for too long. Many who are supposed to be environmental transformer cannot transform anything. Many who are supposed to be landlords are still tenants. If many were allowed to enter into the blessings they have missed, they will be multi billionaires by now. But then there is a remote controlling force saying this is how far you can go, you cannot go further. There is a remote controlling force that will say, not so. Not so. Not you. Go back. 
This is why you need to be angry in your spirit. Power! Pressing down my head. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. Silence. Perfect silence. Please don't say anything for now. That brother over there. The key. Key. That was taken away from you in the dream. And therefore, you could not enter into your wealthy place. Something is happening to you where you are. The key is giving back to you. Silence. Please don't say anything. Am I will go The spirit of slavery. The spirit of hardship. You can't hide anymore. Let her go. Let him go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out your mana water now. And let your amen roar like fire and like thunder. Father, according to your commandment, we bring forth our mana water unto you. Let that ever flowing power let that efficacious blood of Jesus let the fire that the enemy cannot insult or embarrass or disgrace enter into this water in the name of Jesus Jesus let this water become the water of healing the water of deliverance. The water of power. The water of strength. The water of glory. Let the anointing of ease flow into this water in the name of Jesus. When this water confronts infirmity, let the infirmity be disgraced. When this water confronts bad luck, let the bad luck change your testimony. When this water confronts joblessness, let the overflowing breakthrough. When this water confronts untimely death, let the death become life. In the name of Jesus. And let this water be sanctified. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus.